Jewish leaders in Marseille in the south of France are advising French Jews to leave their yarmulkes at home after a series of violent anti-Semitic attacks in the city. The head of the Israelite consistory in Marseille said the following, that Jews should not wear the kippah, the skullcap, in the street to avoid being identified as Jewish. It is sad to find ourselves in this position in 2016 in a great democratic country like France. Joe, this is obviously highly troubling. There's been a series of violent attacks against Jewish individuals in Marseille. The most recent was on Monday of this week, where a 15-year-old uh, self-radicalized ethnic Kurd from Turkey um, attacked a, Jew, a 35-year-old Jewish man who was identified, he, who he identified because he was wearing the yarmulke. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a sad, sad state of affairs. Not a good time uh, to be Jewish in France at the moment. Incidentally, uh, France has the highest number of Jewish people in Europe. It's around 500,000, but ma many have already left. Quite a, quite a few have already left and moved to Israel because of the climate in France. And it's just astounding to me that you've got this religious Jewish leader actually encouraging his own people to, to disguise themselves and to not wear the kippah. Uh, also, on really just uh, something that comes to mind as well is on the other side over in uh, the UK recently just we did a story earlier this week on the leaders of ISIS uh, putting out a booklet encouraging ISIS Muslims to disguise the fact that they're Muslim right. in order to carry out attacks so you've got this uh, this disguising and taking off of traditional religious wear because of the horrible climate of terrorism that we're living in. I think, uh, yeah, and to add to that, and I don't disagree, uh, to, to add to that, I think the anti, the Islamophobia that we're seeing in Europe, and it is, it's pernicious, but it is, it's, it's certainly then, it's a virulent strain of it, is only bad news for all ethnic minorities, for whether you're Jewish, whether you're whatever, whatever, whatever ethnic minority you are. I don't think it's, you can't escape it, and I think this is part and parcel of that. Unfortunately, other other um, France's chief rabbi has advised Jews not to do that, not to hide away. Um, so it, but it was particularized to the Marseille head of of, of 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 the Israelite consistory. But so it's not it's not a universal directive. And Francois Hollande, France's president, has certainly come out and said that he feels very uh, embittered by this and very saddened by this when he said the following. It is intolerable that in our country citizens should feel so upset and under assault because of their religious choice that they would conclude that they have to hide. So again, picking up on, on what we're discussing mm -hmm. here, uh, it, but, but it, it is a very, it's reflecting a very real fear. And as you said, 7,900 French Jews have left the country or left the country last year to go to Israel. Well, the Jewish um, out, of, people, out of a total population of less than 500,000. Yeah, well, the Jewish people number. in France obviously feel targeted, obviously in light especially of these attacks. And, and not long ago, there was that video of the a Jewish man with his yarmulke just casually walking through the streets of Paris. And the amount of comments, of fascist comments that were thrown at him on his casual walk just shows the level of fascism that is in France at the moment, along with, you know, all sorts of, of racism, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism. Right. France, you know, it's one of the reasons why it's been such a target and such a center for all these attacks. I'm surprised, though, um, that the Jewish people are being encouraged to remove their yarmulkes because, uh, obviously, we had the Holocaust and, and many persecutions for centuries before that. And so the Jewish people, you know, they know how they've been persecuted for centuries and centuries. They do tend to stand strong. Um, so I am surprised, and I'm sure that, that many of them won't actually go ahead with that advice. It's gonna, it, it'll be interesting, but it is a very sad state of affairs. You're right, the anti-Semitism certainly has been on the rise, people conflating the actions of Israel with Judea, being Jewish and Judaism per se. And so we saw a lot of backlash in the, in the summer of the bombings in Palestine and the conflict there. We saw a lot of anti-Semitic, a wave of anti-Semitic uh, fervor in Western Europe, France being one of the sort of flashpoints for that. And now, as I said, on the back of this Islamophobia, the racial tensions, the cultural tensions, the religious tensions there, and, and it, it's only bad. I think it's only bad news for Jews and in, in Europe. I think it's only, and, and certainly as instance and evidence by this for French Jews, the 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 emphasis on them trying to hide their ethnic, trying to hide their ethnicity, trying to hide their religious beliefs, just to be safe walking down the streets is highly troubling.